you guys don't know, character cards are kind of like equipment that you can equip to your character. I'm using Rimuru right now. You can equip them to your character. You can equip three at a time. And what it does is it boosts your character stats. So every single character card in the game, the two base stats are attack and HP. So you can see this melee titan right here, upper left hand corner, common, it's a common card, and it gives you four extra attack and 25 health. And then this one right here, four attack, and then it gives you like 27.76 health. So each character card, when you equip it to your unit, your unit gets stronger in the game, your abilities get stronger. So in order to get character cards, guys, you have to beat either a dungeon. So you can see the Titan Dimension right here. There's two dungeons in the game right now. It's the Titan Dimension and the Demon Slayer Dimension right here, Demon Dimension. Every time you beat a dungeon, you have a chance to get a reward. And that reward is going to be that character card. 35% chance to get these, uh, this Titan right here. This one's 23%. You scroll down, 9% chance to get the Armor Titan or Reiner. And then this one right here, the Legendary card, 6% chance to get the Colossal Titan. And every single dungeon with like different difficulties has a different percent chance. So easy mode, you can see the Colossal Titan, 6% chance when you beat the dungeon to get it. On hard mode, it's a 7% chance. On nightmare mode, it's an 8% chance. So different modes, you know, you get a different percent chance. And then for the Demon Slayer map right here, you can see Akaza on easy mode, the legendary card, 6% chance to get him. On nightmare mode, it's an 8% chance to get him. So it's a little bit better. And then for hardcore mode, if you turn it on, you have another additional chance to get a character card. So all these character cards, just multiply the chance by two, and then you have like a double chance to get it. So Akaza on hardcore mode, 16% chance to get them. That's like one out of like what? One out of six chance, one out of seven chance. Every seven dungeons you complete, you should be able to get one of these legendary Akaza cards. The second thing that I want to cover for you guys, there are five rarities of character cards in the game. The first one is legendary. Take a look at my mouse cursor for Akaza. He's legendary. The second one is epic. The third one is rare. The fourth one is uncommon, and then the final one is common. And as you can already imagine, the higher the rarity, the better the stats. With that said though, even though legendary cards have better stats, they also have a rarer chance to drop. So in time challenge, I told you guys, there were two ways to get character cards in the game, time challenge, and then you can also beat a dungeon. For time challenge guys, the best character card out of all of these is Itadori. Itadori over here has a 6% chance to drop. Every time you defeat 100 enemies inside of here, you get eight minutes, you have a 6% chance to get Itadori. So if you have like, I guess if you can kill maybe a thousand monsters in time challenge, I don't know if that's possible, but if you could, you have a 60% chance to get Itadori. So if you want to collect all the legendary cards in the game, you want the best cards so you can be the strongest in the game, you definitely want to do time challenge or you want to play on this Demon Slayer map over here. Maybe try to go to, I don't know, easy mode, hard mode, nightmare mode, and then you could try to go for the legendary Akaza or you can also go on the Titan dimension, go to easy, nightmare, or hard and try to get that colossal Titan. Along with the rarities, guys, every rarity has a, like a different number of effects that you can have on it. So for legendary cards, you can have four effects and it does say sub right there. Sub ability, sub effect, whatever you want to call it. For the epic cards, you can have three effects. For the rare cards, you can have two effects. And then the uncommon cards, you can have one effect. At the very bottom, common cards do not have effects or abilities. They only give you base damage and base health. So I guess it would be perfect if you're just starting out in the game, you can just get a common card. They drop really easily. You can equip them to your character and then you can try to grind out for some of those legendary cards right here. The third thing that I wanna cover for you guys is that every single character card has a different ability slash effect and also a different percentage for that effect. So you can see these two Akaza legendary cards right here. I got both of these from the Demon Slayer Dimension by beating the level 26 map. So you can see attack, it gives you a 50 boost. And then the health, 222.8 boost. So you equip these to your unit, you're gonna get 222 HP. However, if you take a look at the very bottom, you see where it says sub and then it says main. The sub is what can be different for every single character card. So this Akaza is gonna have different uh, character effects than this Akaza right here. And I'll show you guys a really good example. Here's Itadori, guys. This one I got from Time Challenge. It is the best character card in the game, along with Akaza. But right here, check out the effects right here. Critical damage, 
12.8%, attack 5.7%, HP regen 31.4%, and then you have gold at the very bottom 4.4%. This card right here, this is the same exact card. This is the one I'm viewing right now. I'm gonna click on it. You can see the effects are completely different. So this one has 6.2% attack, 7% gold, and I haven't unlocked the rest. But if I go back to this card, you can see this one has 5.7% attack. But this card right here has 6.2% attack. So what does this mean for you guys? It means if you guys want to get an edge over other players in the game, you want to be stronger, you want to level up faster, it's super helpful for you guys to grind some of these cards in the game, the legendary cards, or if you want, you know, you don't want to grind for the legendary, the epic cards, and then go for the best abilities in the game. So for each character card, there are seven different effects slash abilities that you guys can get. You can get a boost to your attack percentage, a boost to your HP regen percentage, a boost to your HP percentage, you can get an EXP boost, you can get a gold percentage boost, a critical damage percent boost, and then the final one is a critical chance percent boost. And once again, take a look at these two Akaza cards right here. The same exact level, the same exact thing. Both of them are legendary from the Demon Slayer Dimension map. You can see this one has attack 5.1% boost, this one has HP 6.1% boost. I'm going to show you guys exactly what I mean. I'm going to upgrade it five times. One, two, three, four, and five. Look at the next uh, effect that unlocked. Critical chance, 6.5% boost. I'm going to go back to this uh, Akaza right here. I'm going to upgrade it five times. One, two, three, four, and five. Look at that one. EXP 4.7%. That's completely different from this character card right here. So it's exactly what I said, guys. If you want to get stronger in the game, try to go for character cards that have the, I guess, the effect slash ability that you want. If you want to know which are the best ones, attack percentage, critical damage percent, and critical chance percent. Those three are the best in the game. If you're going just for like damage, you want to kill everything fast, you want to grind as fast as you can. If you guys are trying to get on these level leaderboards, you can see Kelvin GTS number one. He's been number one for a while. I think he's level 65 right now, actually. It hasn't updated. But if you're trying to be number one, you want to do it the free to play way. The way to do it, guys, is get a character card with EXP percent boost. So this one gives you 4.7% EXP boost. Every time that you guys kill enemies, you get 4.7% extra EXP. And all of these stack together with other character cards that you have. However, you cannot get the same uh, character effect two times on the same card, if that makes sense. So this Akaza right here, I can't get two EXP effects on the same card. However, I can equip two character like cards, two different cards. This uh, Colossal Titan right here, this one has HP 6.7%, right? And then this uh, Akaza right here, HP 6.1%. I can equip both of these even though the character effects are the same. But you cannot try to roll. I guess if you want to call it that. You can't roll two of the same effects on the same card. I already covered this earlier. But the best two character cards in the game. And I say best two because they have the same exact stats. I'm going to show you. This one right here. It's Legendary Akaza and then Legendary Itadori. You get Legendary Itadori from the Time Challenge. He has a 6% rate to drop every time you defeat 100 enemies. This right here, Legendary Akaza, he has an 8% chance to drop on the Demon Dimension map level 26 and up. The same exact base stats, they have no other difference besides that guys. And take a look at this Legendary Colossal Titan really quick guys. Look at the effects. This one has Critical Damage 12.5%, Critical Chance 7.8%, and then Attack Boost 6.9% guys. These three abilities right here or effects, Critical Damage, critical chance and then attack like base attack percentage these three are the best if you guys are trying to win in a dungeon as fast as possible it'll allow you to kill the enemies faster than usual and then the faster you grind through the dungeons if this one also had exp percent 
that would be absolutely the best kit that you guys could have the best four effects if you're trying to get on those level leaderboards like kelvin gts so the channel members haven't really changed from the golden frieza video that i put out so i'm just gonna go ahead list all the names there and then keep it rolling but i really do appreciate all of my channel members support so uh, thank you guys for joining the channel besides that i don't think we're gonna be able to stream tonight guys it's already late and then uh if i had to do like two videos in a day we were supposed to stream but i did this video instead because i know a bunch of you guys do play anime dimensions and you want to know about these character cards how it can help you guys out hopefully you guys learned something in this video but i'm going to be streaming like every other day this week so we're going to be streaming on wednesday thursday friday saturday and then we're going to keep it going throughout the entire summer hopefully you guys are hyped for that all-star tower defense update also coming out probably this week anime dimensions they're going to be coming out with that update hopefully the hopefully this week um but i really do appreciate your guys's support and until next time guys i'll see you in the next video